It is shaving day. Dozens of people are volunteering to have their hair shaved off to help kids with cancer. CBS 2 Chardonnay Gray is in Edison Park where the clippers are buzzing and the bagpipes are blaring for the St. Baldrick's fundraiser. What a fun assignment for you today, Chardonnay. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely fun assignment. Uh, Jim and Marie, you can obviously see that the bagpipes are out here right now. And there it's just a, a lot of people out here for a good celebration to come and support kids who, who have been uh, diagnosed with cancer. But we actually want to talk to some of those people who are getting their haircuts right now. And actually one of those boys right here is Liam. Liam, is this your first time getting your haircut? Second. Your second time, so you're basically a pro at this right now. Yeah. How old are you? Eight. Eight, and uh, Shannon, who's one of the barbers out here, we can kind of start cutting his hair right now. You said this is your second time. The first time you started doing this, why did you do this? To raise money with kids that have um, cancer and stuff. Why is that important to you to come out and get your hair cut and support these kids? Because, like, I really like helping people, and that's why. A little, is it a little weird to kind of feel all of your hair coming off? Yeah. A little bit weird. <laughs> okay. Well, you're almost there, semi almost there. Shannon said that this shouldn't take too long, uh, but we're going to move uh, along to Michael over here, who is also getting his hair cut pretty soon. Michael, can you tell me why you are doing this? You know, it's uh, it's a great cause. It's community, family. It's in my heart the least that I can do and my family can do for kids that are are, are stricken with cancer. It's it might not seem like a lot, but inside our hearts and, and the money we raise to help awareness of this does a lot for the whole organization and to help out the families that are are dealing with this sickness of cancer. And can you tell me about your daughter? She was diagnosed in 2018, right? No, wrong. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I have the wrong Michael. Um, we have another Michael who we will be talking to a little bit later. But can you talk about why this is so important to you to come out and do this? Uh, it, to help the families, to, to bring awareness to it, and, and to bring the community closer together and, and help these families that are dealing with this for their children. Thank you so much. And she'll be moving along to your head pretty soon as well. Right behind me, we have Maribeth and Brendan. Maribeth, can you tell us about why you're out here today? Yes, just want to um, really, as a parent of a, a, a child with cancer, I think one of the first things that hits you hard is when your child loses their hair. And I think to see all these people do this, one, just to raise the money for research and all the fundraising, but two, as for a personal thing, to see someone else shave their head and do this, they don't have to do it and they're doing it. I know as a parent it makes me feel better. I know for him it makes him feel happy about it. And it, it's a, it gives off a positive feeling, community, everything. It just makes just a good feeling, people coming together to do this. So it, it's, it just it helps. Any, any little thing helps when you're a, you're a parent of a child going through cancer. So it, it, uh, it helps a lot. And it's a, an emotional roller coaster to go through. It is. It is. I think, like I said, uh, when you see a child bald, you, you go, oh, that child has cancer. And, when me and my husband saw him losing his hair, I have to admit, it was probably one of the hardest things to go through. And so when you just see people like this that, you know, they're going to do it and they don't have to do it and they do it. I know, like Michael just said, it's like makes you feel good. It's in their heart. So it does help a lot. So it's helped our family. And thank you so much for, you. for being able to talk to us about this. And we'll be out here all day, or I should say for the next hour, to show you why this is so meaningful to these families and why this is so important. But we'll send it back to you, Jim and Marie. Sade, thanks so much. You have to applaud what they're doing out there. Absolutely. And what a great crowd to do just that. And it's kind Absolutely of fun to applaud. watch yeah. these guys get shorn. <laughs> thank you, Sade.